Hello, and thank you so much for taking a minute to get introduced to the Chev video series. It is such an extensive class that will truly take you from the beginning to the end of the pattern. The Chev pattern is absolutely loaded with options. There are instructions for both a cropped and a longer length. I'm wearing the longer length. There are instructions to knit it with four colors like I did, three different background colors, and a single dominant color. And there are also options to knit it with simply two colors where you maintain the same background color throughout and use a different color for your color work and your pattern. There are three hem options and you can either work your hems and cuffs and necklines in a standard rib or a twisted rib. Although this pattern is labeled adventurous, intermediate, experienced, if you take this workshop, it's accessible even for beginning knitters. Seriously, I go through everything. All you need to know before taking this workshop is how to knit and purl. That's it. I will teach you and demonstrate with you every other technique that's featured in this pattern is seriously loaded with tons of information. I think the best thing about an online workshop is that you have the ability to watch it at your own pace, skip sections that don't apply to you, or rewatch sections as many times as you need while you're working on a particular technique. You'll have continuous access to the course along with all of the materials that are within the course that you download, such as worksheets or diagrams, all things that I include and demonstrate how to use so that you can make the sweater exactly the way you want to. We'll begin by talking through a few important before you begin topics, such as sizing, how to choose appropriate yarn, whether to prioritize row or stitch gauge. And if you don't match both, we have worksheets that actually will help you convert one or the other and help you choose your size. We're also gonna talk about color dominance and just general color work tips so that you have a very firm handle on both of those things before we demonstrate the actual techniques. And we're going to talk about how to knit the sweater with less than the recommended ease. And I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it and how to determine what other parts of the sweater need to be modified in order for you to be successful in knitting the sweater. Aside from the talking portions, there are so many techniques that are covered in this workshop. I will teach you how to swatch in the round because the sweater is knit in the round and it's really important that you swatch in a way that will best represent what your knitting is going to be like. I'll be teaching you both the provisional cast on and the cable cast on as those two cast ons are used in the project. I'll also be teaching you how to maintain color dominance, whether you're knitting with two hands, just your right hand or just your left hand. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do the two-handed knitting method and how to maintain your dominance with that. But I'm also going to teach you how to maintain color dominance if you're working either English or continental style knitting with both of your yarns in the same hand. I'm even going to go into basic increasing and decreasing and how to maintain a stitch pattern while you're decreasing. I just wanted to include everything so that anyone could knit this pattern. You'll be learning both a standard and a tubular bind off. I used a tubular bind off in my sweater and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite way to finish a ribbed sweater. So I'm gonna definitely teach you that one. And then just in case you decide that's not worth the effort for you, I'll teach you the standard bind off as well. Of course, the most fun part of knitting this sweater is the steaking. If you've never steaked before, fear not because I have already recorded very detailed and thorough demonstrations of both steaking and picking up those armhole stitches. You have three different hem options for this sweater. The split hem, which is what I'm wearing, 
you could absolutely modify that very easily to be whatever length differential you want, or you can make them the same length. There's also a hilo hem worked in the round. And for that one, you do need to know how to do short row shaping. So even though it's only one of three hem options and the only place that short rows are used in this pattern, I'm going to teach you three different styles of short row shaping the German method, the Japanese method, and then the basic wrap and turn method. Your other hem style is just a standard hem where you knit the rib and the round and that's it. Another technique that I'll be teaching you how to do is the twisted rib. So I hope this gives you a great overview of what you can expect in this course. And whether you take it or not, I just know you're gonna love your shove when it's done. There are so many hours of instruction included in this course. It is probably one of the longest workshops I've ever done because it is just so jam-packed with techniques. And within the course, there'll be places where you'll download different pages. You'll have all of that included for you within the course, all in one place. And as I said before, I think the best thing about an online course is that you can go at your own pace, skip or rewatch sections as needed. I really hope you join me. I can't wait to see your shove.